teleported to the wrong spot. I hate it when I teleport to the wrong spot. That's better. Anyway, today is Saturday, which means it's the second day of V's. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to vlog about today, so that's cool. Hold on a second, I think I feel an idea coming. I got one. So you know how they say vlog about what you know? Well, they don't say that, but I'm still gonna do a vlog about what I know, and what I know is not knowing what to do a vlog about. Actually, more specifically, I'm doing a vlog about overcoming not knowing what to do a vlog about, but you get the gist. So here are my top five ways to be more creative. Tip number one, bang your head against the wall. Usually when you're suffering from a lack of creativity, it's because you have some cobwebs in your brain that you need to shake off. Now, a lot of people don't know the right way how to do this, so I thought I'd demonstrate a little bit. I just feel so refreshed and maybe a little bit concussed, but that's okay because now I'm more creative. Pro tip, the harder the object, the more cobwebs you clear up and the more brain cells you kill. Alright, tip number two, lock yourself in your room until you can come up with ideas. Please just let me out, I just want to get out of my room! No, just come up with ideas. But, but I can't come up with ideas, it's too hard! I don't care! Uh, usually I like to lock myself into my room for 10 to 12 hours at a time, but some people have had success with six. As a general rule, I would say never lock yourself in your room for less than six hours because yeah, a brain just can't come up with ideas that fast. Alright, moving on, tip number three. Read the dictionary. Abactinal, abactor, abaculo, abaculus, abacus, abacus. That makes me think of math. Math makes me think of addition. And addition reminds me that additionally, I need to come up with an idea. Maybe I should lock myself in the room. Eh, that's a good idea. Reading the dictionary just really gets my creative juices flowing. It's just, it's inexplicable. It's incapable of being explained, interpreted, or accounted for. Yeah, that. Alright, anyway, tip number four. What I like to do is I like to put on my thinking sombrero and my thinking mustache. Alright, yeah, this doesn't help at all and maybe it's just an excuse to wear a mustache, but it does make me look fairly ridiculous, so that's good. Alright, moving on. Tip number five. Recruit a live audience. Zach, hi. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is uh, laugh every single time that I say the word the. Uh. <laughs> the. Ah. So, you know, I was walking down the street the other day, <laughs> and I saw the best thing ever. There was this sign for the Festival for the Souls of Dead Whales, <laughs> and the best part <laughs> was that it wasn't even the only sign. There was two signs for the Festival for the Souls of Dead Whales. <laughs> that was my brother. He's pretty awesome. And that leads me right to the only actual tip that I've actually given on this video, and that is to be around other creative people. Just being around other people helps you to be so much more creative, and it's just awesome. So now you know a lot of things not to do when you're not feeling creative, and one thing that you can do when you're not feeling creative that's actually pretty awesome and fun, and you're welcome. So yeah, my name's Sam, I make videos every Saturday and whenever the heck else I want to, and you'll see me when you see me. Bye.